next knot I'm going to teach is a figure eight follow through. A figure eight follow through is a lot like what we just taught, which is the figure eight stopper. Only we're going to incorporate this into an actual loop of rope around an anchor. Say I wanted to repel off and use this tree as my anchor, or really anything that you can't clip into. We'll talk about how to do this with a carabiner later. So we're going to use what's called a figure eight follow through. And it's pretty straightforward. You simply tie the good old figure eight that we already learned. So we start with something that looks kind of like we're going to do an overhand knot, but we go past it and down instead. And we end up with this pretty little figure eight. So we have our figure eight stopper knot, just like we had before, except for this time it has a whole bunch of tail. And we're going to go around our anchor and we're going to follow it through. So everywhere it goes, you go. So I can see it comes into the knot here. I'm just going to follow it everywhere it goes. So sounds confusing, but it's actually a lot easier to do than to think about. So we're just going to follow it through. And everywhere it goes, I want to go. So there it goes. I'm following, following. Oh, look, it goes underneath these two. So that's where I'm going to go. And you want to keep the knot fairly loose so you can work with it. There's no reason to tighten it yet. Now, am I finished? Would I be finished? No, of course not. It still goes underneath those two sections of rope. So I'm going to do the same thing, follow it through. And I'm showing it to you nice and flat so you can see what the knot looks like. That's a figure eight with a follow through. But in reality, we want to dress it really nicely. And I'll talk about dressing knots and why that's important in a moment. But we're going to want to actually dress it nice so there's really good contact with the rope. And this is a really nice figure eight that I was able to create by following it back through around this anchor that I'm unable to slip over as you would be able to do on a post or if you were clipping into a carabiner. A figure eight follow through.